biology at Rochdale Six One College. My name is Andy Harrison and I'm the subject leader. And hopefully in this video, we're going to explain to you or give you a taste of what it is you're going to be able to expect at Rochdale. Okay, so the only person that isn't going to be in our presentation today is Beth. So here is Kev and here is Lorraine and there's my little mugshot there. Okay, so over to Kev who's going to give you an explanation of what we're going to study. Thanks, Andy. Um, okay, so the, the topics that we do at A-Level Biology then, there's four main topics that we study in, in year one, and they're going to build on a lot of the, the knowledge and the content you did at GCSE. So, for example, the first main topic is biological molecules, and that will involve proteins and carbohydrates and lipids. Uh, we also talk about DNA structure, and we link the structure with the function. Uh, we then go on to study cells, uh, eukaryotic versus prokaryotic cells and their structure, and we do a bit of microscope work that Lorraine will mention uh, in a second. Um, we talk a bit about genetics in year one, and then in the second year, we talk about energy transfer systems. We talk about uh, respiration, and we do all uh, the mechanism of respiration inside, for example, mitochondria. We talk about photosynthesis and the chloroplast that you find in plant cells. So all these topics we're going to build on from GCSE knowledge, and they're just going to a little bit more detail with. Now, Lorraine's going to mention the practical component of the A-level. Okay, thank you, Kevin. Hi, and welcome. So just to let you know about the practical work that you'll do. So all the way through your two years, we will uh, be doing 12 practical activities minimum. They will be assessed and we'll be looking at whether you're following the method, whether you can report your findings in the correct manner, that you can reference and report those findings. Um, this will hopefully give you a practical endorsement, which will show any future employers uh, that you can actually carry out Practicals. The practicals link to what uh, Kevin was talking about. So, for example, mitosis, we have practical with that. Transport across membranes, so that's to do with cells as well. Aseptic technique, so all things that are used out in the scientific field. So this work that you do here also gets examined, and Andy's going to tell you a little bit more about that uh, process. Thanks, Andy. Thank you very much. Okay, so the A-level biology course is a linear qualification, which means that all of your exams are at the end of the second year, which for you guys will be June 2022. Uh, we're studying AQA as an exam board, and paper one covers all of the year 12 content, or the first year content. Paper two is all the second year content, and on paper three is everything combined. And the required practical skills that you developed will be tested throughout each and every one of those papers. Not only will you be working towards those final exams, which, you know, um, at the end of those two years, there are three big internal assessment points within, three, within the two year course. Uh, and that's the same for all subjects. And to help guide you and help you to develop the skills that you require for these exams, we do in class assessments. And we're also doing online diagnostic assessments. Now, every single question will, re, will re, um, be around either your recall of knowledge and explanation of key processes, the application of your knowledge that you have uh, been taught, and AO3, which is the analysis of data, the interpretation of, of information that has been prevented, and evaluation. Okay, so to help us explain where you where biology can take you in the future over to kev thanks andy so some of you might have a good idea of what you want to study in the future whether you want to go to university and do a science degree or biology degree uh, some of you might not have any ideas just yet you might formulate them over the next two years uh, just to let you know some of our students what they've done in the past so some have gone off to study medicine some have done dentistry or veterinary science uh, we've had quite a lot of students who off to do pharmacy or optometry for example and uh, quite a lot of students go off and do biology or genetics or zoology, the sort of more traditional uh, biology related degrees. So there's, all, uh, there's always a lot of help within the biology department in terms of uh, applying for university and your UCAS uh, application. Some of the teachers here have had uh, previous careers in research. So they can kind of give you a bit of guidance with that and a bit of help. Uh, but just bear in mind, there's always lots and lots of uh, support and guidance uh, in terms of what you might want to do as a career in the future. So back over to Andy. Very much. So as Kev, picking up on what Kev has just told us, here are just a few of our past students. So we've got Jess who got an A star, 
who's now studying physiotherapy at Nottingham. We've got Mohammed, who also obtained an NA star, who's studying medicine at Birmingham. Holly, who's doing a master's degree in biology at Manchester University. And Lucy, who is studying zoology at Leeds University. Okay, in terms of how can we enrich, you know, what else do we do in the biology department? So we've got trips and visits, and we've also got uh, an extensive enrichment program. So a little bit about enrichment first. So not only will you study either three A-level subjects, and some of you will do four, there are, you can select an enrichment program, which is a 12, two 12-week 12 programs. And the ones that we offer in biology at the moment are forensic genetics and technology, pathology, biomedical sciences, zoology, and microbiology. But we also enrich your studies here by taking you out onto trips, which are, some of them are optional, some of them, um, you know, the required practicals is technically a trip. So we do an ecology field trip, Manchester University trip, Chester Zoo trip, and we also bring in guest speakers, experts in their field who can then share with you the, their information and what, what, what it is that biology has helped them to achieve. So last but not least, I want to set you a little challenge. It's been tough times during the COVID-19 lockdown. So while we're coming out of lockdown, you should be doing some, some exercise. So these two little challenges are going to help you or you can do whilst you're doing your daily exercise. So there's the Garden Bird Watch, which there's a link here on the presentation. All you need to do is monitor which bird species are visiting your garden, and you just fill an online form to help uh, ornithologists study the populations and migration patterns of our uh, common British birds. And also the oil beetle hunt. We have got, there's a conservation program Population numbers have been decreasing over uh, many years now. Um, here is a link that will take you to a monitoring survey that you can, whilst you're out about doing your daily exercise, that you can, you know, input some data. Okay, so just want to say a massive thank you for listening to the video. We can't wait to see you in September. Good luck with your exams, and we'll hopefully see you very soon.